Kentucky and Rupp Arena, the same for the South Region on the road to the Final Four. And here are two games tonight. The opener, Indiana and Duke, the number one team in the nation against the Big Ten champion Hoosiers. And the winner will be starting lineup, Jeffries as a sophomore in All-America, Hornsby, Odell, Coverdale in fight, Dunleavy, Presents matchup problem 690 can play outside or inside Jones, Boozer, Jason Williams. The college player of the year is a junior and Chris Duhon, a tough defender. The officials tonight, Hall, Benedict, and Green. They're ready with the whistles, and this 22,000 capacity crowd is ready to roar. They've been cheering since they awakened this morning, and most of them are here to cheer against. The favorite, the new blue dice, Duhon Dante Jones, and in particular, Jason Williams. Oh, it bounced past the Dunleavy for the easy two. Oh, yeah. Let them play. Open and fight. Indiana still scoring it. Well, I'm a little surprised Indiana taking such quick shots. Boozer open inside. 67. In the corner, Hornsby can't hit. Oh, wow. start for Indiana. Oh, Red-headed Coverdale with a long pass to fight. He fires from three. There's the first score for the Hoosiers. The guy that can score inside. So Daniel Ewing, the freshman, the only freshman on the three. And here comes Perry, averaging just 2.2 points a game. Good feed inside to Newton, and another easy two. Two fields for Dunleavy. And Ewing fires for three. Oh, this kid from six on. Duke building its lead. Boozer battling inside against Jeffrey. And that's his shot. Perry, the freshman, inside to Newton. Another turnover. And here comes Jason Williams. Oh, that's too easy. Five turnovers for Duke. Jeffries using the left hand. And Newton there for the follow-up. Perry doesn't shoot much from out there. Odell able to save it for Indiana. And then it's inside to A.J. Moy, who has just come into the game. Newton and Moy on the floor. And another turnover for Indiana. Boozer working now, number five, uh, that's George Leach. And Dudley, and there it is, an extra chance. Indiana not boxing out, didn't get it. And the fire by Duhon. From the playing against a team like Duke, you can't give them any kind of play. Entry to Jared Jeffries. Mike Davis wanted more of this as Odo gets it. The reason Jeffries to Odo is so wide open, Mike Dunleavy in position to try to help out on Carlos Duke with that luxury of a 12 point lead with under six minutes to go in the half and Jared Jeffries Coverdale inside to Jeffries this is the game plan Jeffries two for two in there punch it into Jeffries Ewing oh my two three point attack with the Hoosiers spins around Ewing hands it off to Odell good play by Coverdale leads all scores with a dozen Coverdale to Newton, so two nice assists. And an easy two from Duhon. Well, that's the, that is the end of the first half. An impressive display by the number one team in the nation. The defending national champion score 42. Most of Indiana's defense-minded team has allowed all season in the first half. Boozer with 12, Dunleavy with 9, Duhon with 7. Jeffries led the Hoosiers in the first half with 8 points. A 13-point lead as we go. To... And what has to concern Indiana is the fact that they really shut down the two top scorers for Duke and yet uh, trail by 13 and it's turnover 16 to 8.
give up the basketball. Jeffries again works inside against Boozer. He had to play up the ball. coming up the second set. And their points in the pace are piling up, and a turnover is Boozer with a blind pass to Jason Williams. He couldn't handle. And suddenly just showing some vulnerability. Talk of the turnovers in the first half. Both teams with techniques in the second. Back door, and Moyes scores, and Indiana hits it within four. Take a look at A.J. Moyes taking his man out here. The ball's going to come here to the high post to Jeffrey Newton. And you'll watch the beautiful execution on the back door play, taking advantage of the over-aggressiveness on the defensive do. Last five and a half minutes. Okay. But the time to score had... Sanders off the bench with four. And a rebound by Jeffrey. Takes it on the score. A three-point play. And Indiana is settling within one. Don't give up any layups or dunks. Makes the Dukies earn it from the line. Boozer blocked by O.J. Moy and then a foul. No, they call it a jump ball. And the arrow points to Indiana. They're going crazy at Rupp Arena. Jim Boyer stands maybe six for three, but wow! Inside, and it throws it away. Jeffries with the interception. Trailing by five. Cumberdale. Cut off by Duhon. And then this is the short jump. But passes under the Jeffries. He fouled and he'll shoot one. Well, Duke has been kind of almost standing around in many cases looking to help out on penetrating. You see Brewster pulling back there. And when you're standing watching, helping, that's when you're vulnerable on the offensive end. Hi, Coverdale. Indiana has never led. Trail by as much as 17. They've rallied in the second half. Coverdale could tie it with his free throw. Here's the inbound pass to Duhan. Duhan right side on the wing. Still in the dribble. Out to Ewing. Pulls up for a pass to Williams. Three-pointer on the way. Way off the mark. Rebound batted out. Williams has got it again. Drives in the right side. Throws it out to Ewing. Ewing fakes. Throws it into Duhan. Duhan drives. He throws it to Booker. Blades out of bounds. <laughs> One minute and 18 seconds to go. Indiana's got the basketball. What would a basket do to this Duke team right now? Come on, Hoosiers. How about a basket here? Coverdale will bring it up. Tom crosses the timeline. Takes it to the right side. Gives to Moye. Moye got hit by Ewing. No call. Down low to Coverdale. Coverdale works on Duhon. Turns, puts it up, and... Got it! Yeah. Yes! Coverdale is six foot of the game. Indiana leads. 72 to 70, the first time that Indiana's had the lead, I believe. Now in backcourt, Williams drives it out to Ewing for a three pointer. No good. Rebound batted up. Jeff Newton with a rebound. Gets it to Moye. To Coverdale. Here come the Hoosiers. 35 seconds to go. Coverdale in backcourt and a timeout call. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Indiana, 72, Duke 70 with 32. Here's Tom Coverdale. He looks, having trouble. Finally, gets it in to Dane Fight. Throws it into Moye. Moye turns around, drives it left. He got foul. a ball stripped yeah. of the foul. They Come call on. a foul against Duke. And they're going to nail the personal on Duhon, his fourth. And going to the free throw line will be A.J. Moye with 11 seconds left in the game. The Hoosiers are there as Moye steps to the strike. A.J. with 12 points. Come on, make the first Two one. Two shots there. coming. Make the first Moye, one. Moye, first one in the air. Go! Yeah! Come on, A.J. Moye's got 13. He has one more shot coming. He can make it a two-possession game with 11 seconds. He eyes, he flies, he yeah! Moye with 14. Here comes Duke. 
Daniel Ewing driving right side, three on the way, no good. Williams, three on the way, a foul, oh, no! and he hit it. Jason Williams just hit a three-point shot. Coverdale fouled him, and he'll have a chance to tie the game at 74. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe what I just saw. I take it back, it was Dane Fife who was charged with a foul. So Fife picks up number four. Jason Williams with 15 points will have a chance to tie it with 4.2 seconds to go. He got to get the rebound if he misses this. If he misses this and Duke's able to get the rebound, they can win this ball game. Four seconds left. Williams at the free throw line. Not a good free throw shooter. Shot is up. Missed it. Oh, he no. Boozer. He missed. Tip up now. No, 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 and they are worn at the mid-court line. These two ball clubs going crazy. The Hoosiers have beat Duke 74 to 73. Mike Davis in front of the Indiana crowd, hand in the air, Todd Coverdale, and now he picks up Coverdale right in front of us. Absolutely incredible. And the two ball clubs now are shaking hands. Oh! <laughs> I love you, Dad. I love you, Dad. <laughs> Unbelievable. Tom Coverdale, Dane Fight. <laughs> and they are fighting in front of us, but it is a playful fighting as Indiana has upset. The number one team in the country. We're here till Saturday, boys. Well, they are not quite number one right now. <laughs> but Indiana has beaten Duke. A standing room only crowd here. And Mike Davis is going crazy with Jeff Banner. He just hugs Jeff and Jeff Reese just comes over for the CBS interview. What an upset. The final score, 74-73. Indiana beats Duke. Can you believe it?